Girl, who are you talking to? Hi, ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is another get ready with me. Clink, 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 clink. Do I clink on these? I don't know. I came in sip. I got my Invisalign in. Anyways, we have another get ready with me and today's get ready with me is an actual get ready with me because y'all, I be over here capping. I'm trying to sound like the children. <laughs> I be over here lying, acting like I'm going somewhere and I be getting ready to go nowhere, okay? I be going nowhere, but today, I had to get out of the house. So for this get ready with me, it's, it's girl, I was going stir crazy today, so I just went to Target. All of this to go to Target. Girl, I was giving very much Catwoman, um, Power Ranger, you know, like superhero. I look like a superhero. Ooh, not the deodorant. Superheroes don't show deodorant. This is going to be a full get ready with me. It's going to be head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So we're going to be doing a nice, simple out the door face it took me about 10 minutes like nine minutes talking the outfit which is a throw on outfit and a fragrance we're also going to be doing a wig some hair it's really different and it's a bob y'all know i live for a bob in the springtime we love a good summertime bob and this one's like an angle bob y'all know how i am about angle bobs i want to say thank you to mega look hair for providing this week to me and sponsoring this portion of this get ready with me vlog moment so we're gonna go ahead and get into the hair portion first and then we'll follow up with the makeup outfit and a little mini vlog at the end i think i vlogged a little bit while i was out girl i was I was in shambles, so please forgive me. If you'd like to see what I did to get this full look, please keep on watching and I'll be back to do the face and the body. The head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> so your wig is gonna come in the mega look bag and inside of that bag, of course, you receive your gifts, wig cap, elastic band, all that type of stuff. And of course, you receive your gorgeous wig. Now this wig is a 13 by six lace biolage bob wig it is 12 inches long it's 180 percent density inside the cap you can see it comes with four combs and a built-in elastic band it comes with adjustable straps in the back and this is what the hair looks like right out of the pack that's what the hairline looks like it actually is a little bit more pre-plucked than i'm i thought it would be because when i usually get mega look wigs they are a little bit thicker in the hairline but this one is much more plucked than the other ones that i have now this wig after we received the wig i decided to bleach the knots on this wig so this is what the knots look like after they have been bleached it looks amazing like the knots bleached very very well and we also washed and conditioned the hair the hair was a little bit dry but what we're going to work on first is this hairline so i'm going to use my she is bomb wax stick to lay down that hairline baby now it's already laid down i actually like how it looks but you know we gotta reinforce that thing so i'm gonna use a wax stick rub it all over and i'm gonna take my what is this the red by kiss hot comb and we're just gonna go ahead and flatten the hairline now i wanted to i'm redirecting the hairline like sideways so i decided to do a side part but i wanted a little bit of lift in the front so i I don't know if you can tell, I overcorrected the hairline in like the opposite direction. I don't think I'm explaining that right. But I just wanted a little lift in the front. You see it's going like the opposite way the hairline is. And after I do that and I flatten the hairline, it's time to add a little mousse Diana to this mama. She needs a little bit of moisturization in her situation because uh, it was dry so and we wanted to encourage these curls so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Shea Moisture Frizz Free Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Mousse I said that all out of order but y'all know what I'm talking about we're just gonna add the mousse all over the hair now I think I actually added a bit too much it only needed like a light washing but baby I doused it this thing you know I got it all up in this diet with that thing so I decided to use my Evolve 572 brush to brush through the hair and clump those curls together together and detangle the hair as well get that encouraged so I worked all the way through the hair from Ruta to Tuta from end to end wait root to tip I think that's what I meant to say. And I did that on both sides. And I did notice that the hair did take on to the moisturization well. The hair was still a tad bit dry. And I didn't experience a whole lot of shedding. Just a little bit. So I do think that I did experience some shedding because I do bleach my knots. And when I bleach my knots, baby, I bleach them. It's got to be bleached. And when you bleach knots, you do lose a little bit of hair. So it is a little bit more difficult for me to 
figure out like whether or not the shedding comes from the not bleaching or from the wig but I did experience some shedding either way a little bit later but not that much while I was doing this this part now as you can see I'm doing my hair <laughs> my husband popped up in the room we had a little conversation but anyways I need to just go ahead and do the base of this wig so of course y'all know I do the same base a wig grip and a wig cap and pop on this wig now I noticed that this lace I think it is transparent lace so it's a little bit too light for me y'all know how I feel about transparent lace so we got to bleach the knots we got to bleach knots not bleach knots tint the lace I'm gonna go ahead and use the calendaric Floss Illusion Lace Tint Spray, and I'm just going to go ahead and tint that lace, spray it on there, and use a brush to distribute the color, and use my Dyson to dry and set that color in. Bake it into it. Now, once that's complete, you can see there's a complete difference with this lace, mama. Look at it. It looks like it's my skin tone. Oh, that is so satisfying to me. Y'all know how much I love to tint lace. It's my thing. So, next thing... I need to do is cut my lace of course I'm just gonna do the little rickety <laughs> zigzag method that I try and do with my my wrist girl it ends up being straight across but you know I try so did that all the way across the hairline and had to chop off a little bit of extra lace because it was a little bit big on the sides so once that's complete we need to go ahead and apply the wig now I'm gonna use my wig dealer gel this time. I'm on a wig dealer kick. I love how the wig dealer applies and it's not super duper sticky or messy girl. I end up looking like I'm sweating when I'm using like a spray or something like that. So I apply the wig dealer to my forehead and then I allow it to get sticky. Then I just apply the lace. We do that all the way across the forehead. Now the wig dealer takes a little bit longer. It takes a little bit longer to dry and get tacky because it gets like sticky first and then gets tacky. So it takes a little bit longer to apply, but it's less annoying and messy for me, my experience. So I'm going to use the end of a rat tail comb to lay down this hairline, melts it into the skin, and it looks great. I actually was a little bit more surprised because typically when I do have this sort of lace it doesn't really blend you know what i'm saying it doesn't blend like i want it to blend but while that is blending i'm going to flatten that top part because girl was, it was giving hype hair up there okay so i just wanted to flatten that out and next we're going to go ahead and get this hairline together by adding baby hairs i know i love a nice light baby hair so we're gonna section out a piece of hair and then pluck it pluck it for our life Cut it down real short and lay it down. Lay it on down, swoop it back. And what I like to do is swoop it into the hairline so it looks like, you know what I'm saying? Like it looks like it's the hairline, not exactly a baby hair. Baby hairs just don't, don't it don't vibe with me. You know what I'm saying? Like baby hairs don't, it don't look right on me. So I like to do them really, really small. So I do the same thing on the other side. And then I also do the baby hairs as well. I just go, not the baby hairs, the ear tabs, the ear tabs. I also do the ear tabs on both sides. And I make, usually I don't pluck my ear tabs, but we needed to pluck them this time. And we laid them down and baby, it made a world of difference. And baby hairs just changes the hairline for you. It looks amazing. Now we're just gonna go ahead and melt this hairline using the mega look band. I actually like this band, it's really, really wide. And I left it on there for about, mm, girl, it was a long time. I think it was like an hour. <laughs> I left it on there for a minute. Or maybe it was 20 minutes, I don't know. I can't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was all over the place today. So I'm gonna remove that extra stickiness with some micellar water and a Q-tip just to clean it up to make sure my it don't look like somebody licked my forehead. Next, we're gonna go ahead and fluff out this hair. It looks, it's really, really fluffy. The hair was, I added to, the reason why I said I added too much mousse is because the hair felt a little bit stiff and I needed to fluff it up a little bit and I think I if I use a little bit less of the mousse a little bit more water it would have been less stiff and the hair still feels like a little bit dry and I still experienced a little bit of shedding later so that's just to be noted next I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC stick foundation to define that part and make her stick out and baby we are done. I love the look of this wig. I love how it feels. It's a little bit less bouncy than I want it to be, but if you're interested in this wig, I'll leave a link for it down below. I also will leave a coupon code. The coupon codes are for purchases over $169. I think this one's only like $117, baby. It's really affordable. So if you are interested, click the link down below. 
Now let's go ahead and get into the face. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the face. I'm gonna do the quickest face that I could ever do, ever. Now we'll see, cause y'all know my ADD be all over the place. So right now it is 7.01. <laughs> it's 7.01 and I wanna get this done in like five minutes. Okay, wait, hold on. What's that on my screen? Hold on. Why is that still on my screen? Good. So let's let's say it's 7.02 because I use half of the 7.02 trying to figure out how to use this iPhone, okay? I didn't even clean my sponge. I'm just trying to get out of the house. So I'm gonna use my, Y'all know, I'm, this is like my quick, quick, quick face. My Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh um, spray. I love this spray. It's just a really good primer. I haven't been out of the house. Um, I think it's been like two days or so. And I just need to get some fresh air. If I don't, girl, I got like 10 stick foundations. Half of this is gonna be me looking for makeup. I think this is it. So I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Warm Walnut Skin. In the springtime, I'm telling you, let me zoom y'all in. In the springtime, stick foundation has been my friend, especially with the discoloration around my mouth. If I do wanna cover up the discoloration, but I don't want like foundation foundation, I'll just use this warm walnut skin color and it's like my skin tone. I need to get back out in the sun, girl. Okay, so I'm gonna blend all of this out. The great thing about stick foundation is that it really doesn't like, to me, the Bobbi Brown stick foundation doesn't add texture. It just adds like a little bit of, what do you call it? Color. <laughs> Girl, what's going on? Next, I need to, what I need to do is get my life right because I can't find nothing. I got this bag from Amazon. It opens all the way up and opens flat. So there's a lot of space in here. Oh, here it is. Girl, all I had to do was open it like this, like I was supposed to. Okay, so I'm gonna use the MAC NC45 24 hour concealer, this concealer, and then the this concealer and the Pro Long Wear Concealer is my favorite concealer. I'm telling you, so good. I feel like my, ba plus my battery's about to die on my iPad and I'm using it as my little screensaver thing. So like, girl, I got a lot going <laughs> that I didn't mean to do. I didn't mean to do it. While that's setting, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little cream blush because I feel like the cream blush adds a little bit of oomph to the thing, so I'm gonna use the NYX Wonder Stick while this sets, so. This is supposed to be a natural face, but this is in Deep Peach. I like to use this at the top of the cheeks. Just right here. Oh, girl, I'm already blending out the concealer. Boom, that's done. Okay, now I'm adding more than I usually do. Like, this is not even real. One thing that I have done, and I wonder why I didn't do it today. I actually just used a lighter powder. I should have just did that. Because I usually won't do like full concealer because this is a full face at this point. It is. Like I act like no foundation. But I couldn't remember. Y'all know how y'all have a makeup routine? And then you can't remember what you did, but you loved how you did it. But you're like, I can't remember how I did that. How did I do that? <laughs> And then you remember once you're doing it. Like I didn't really do that much. <laughs> and then all we have to do is set all of it. So to set my under eyes, I like to use a translucent powder every single time. And I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and translucent. I like to use a like a wet sponge to apply it. Dab the excess on my hand and just get under those eyes. So I don't have creases and the sponge is actually, baby, it's pretty wet on my face. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. And here and around the mouth. Okay, at this point, I might as well go to the club because <laughs> what's happening? I like to set my eyebrows because I don't like for my eyebrows to look oily when the rest of my face isn't. And let me grab a brush, any sort of brush and I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown bronzer in the color Deep. I love this bronzing powder. Like, I found my bronzing color and I never have been able to find a bronzing color. Especially at the drugstore, girl. They be trying to play me. Like, girl, 
y'all know I got my, my skin tone got to be here. And I love using bronzing powder instead of like cream because I feel like cream comes up heavy on the side of my face, you know? So, just gonna go ahead and set it up in here. Oh, okay, yes. And then I'm going to get my nose. Girl, that just went up my nose. Ew. And under the chin. That's it. That's the face, girl. Let me go ahead and spray it down. That's the face, but I need to do the lips. I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX Line Loud lip pencil in Rebel Kind. And now I'll just add a little bit of lip gloss on top. Why am I always losing things? Like, I don't even understand. Like, it's when I'm in a rush. I'm always losing things. Oh. Girl, it's right here. It was right here. It was right here in my face. <laughs> I'm just going to add the lip gloss. Mmm. Now I'm just going to go ahead and spray my face down with the NYX. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Let that settle on in and let me put on my girl. The outfit I'm wearing is just like whatever. It's it's whatever I can find. How can I get out of this house, girl? It's actually some pants that I really wanted to wear on vacation, but I couldn't. So let me what time is it? It's 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven. So that took me like 10 minutes and running my mouth. Well, nine minutes. So that's good. Let me actually throw on these pants real quick. Okay, so this is the finished look on the face. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Then we go, I'm gonna get up and show y'all the outfit. And I'll go, am I gonna show y'all the jewelry? I'll show y'all the jewelry. Let me show y'all the jewelry. So this is, I'm not, there's no other jewelry. I have this necklace that my husband bought for me our first Valentine's Day. Um, a watch, a bracelet. Well, the watch is from Amazon. The bracelet is from Kate Spade. Girl, I use the same jewelry. I don't even know why I'm telling y'all like it's new. Well, this is the outfit. Okay, girl, this place is a mess. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't pay attention to what's on my floor. Y'all know I'm trying to get out this house. Okay, so this is what the outfit is giving. Okay, this is what y'all can see, like the body part. This is a naked wardrobe set. I'm gonna show y'all from here. It's a naked wardrobe set. Uh, one piece. Oh my god, I got it in green, and I have this one in black. And when I tell you the body be bodying, it be it be bodying. It comes like this is the BBL. It comes with a BBL in it, built in. Okay. Okay, I, the last, one of my other get, full get ready with me is I wore the green one, but this is the black one. She a little bit hot, it's a little, and it's a little bit warm outside. And I got a wig on, so pray for me. Okay, and I got a leather interior. I may be just sweating, but that's okay. I'm just trying to get outside. That's what it looks like in the back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, for the shoes, I don't know. My toes are bare. And I'm gonna wear my black, coach bag but i think i'm gonna wear tennis shoes i only got three pairs of tennis shoes so i'm gonna wear these <laughs> let me put some socks on like i got some business but i'm just gonna put some shoes on for now i'm not wearing these shoes without socks y'all don't talk about me I'm trying to prove a point okay these are tennis shoes i'm gonna wear those and for fragrances i know it's not supposed to be about the window i'm just gonna wear oh girl this is a... all of this is a lot i'm gonna wear i'm gonna wear a body mist i'm gonna use these two the finery Binding Mist, one's Before the Rainbow, the other one is I'm a Musk. I'm gonna spray both these off. These are nice. They're from Target. They smell good. And the sound of a body spray is really nice. Oh, I need to get my... It's like springy. You know? This is the look right here. Let me stand up straight. I be standing weird. Like these. Y'all like it? It's cute. Let me go put on some socks <laughs> so I don't look a fool. And this is the end of the video. I wanna thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I wanna say thank you to Mega Look Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I need to get up out of here, get some fresh air because I'm about to lose my mind, okay? I'm about to lose my mind, I'm stir crazy. So 
I'll see y'all in a second. Well, I'll see y'all in the next video, which will be a short tomorrow. So, bye. Hey y'all, we made it at the house. It is 7.37, that's not too bad. We're gonna vibe out, okay? We're gonna vibe out. This one piece suit is hot. And so is this wig. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But we're gonna go to Target. I haven't been to Target in a minute. Like, I haven't been to a Target in a long time. So, I'm gonna go to this Target and I need to get some body wash. That's what we're here to get. Body wash. What's happening with the, why everybody? Oh, okay. Girl, I need to find another um, protein to eat because I just found out that Beyond Meat can spike your cholesterol. So I need to find like another, um, I need to find another like meat substitute. I just need to find another meat substitute that's not high in like cholesterol, like coconut oil, all that type of stuff. And I got to get a new butter. Girl, I'm going to park over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I love a pull through spot. Come on. Yes. We love to see it. Oh. Girl, who are you talking to? I'm going to run in and pick up probably a whole bunch of stuff I don't need. I don't like to vlog inside Target because I get distracted and I'll be in there for about an hour and buy nothing. I'm not that girl that's gonna go in there for an hour and buy like $200 worth of stuff. I will go in there, pick up stuff, and then put it back and then leave. Get that bread, <laughs> stay too long to leave. That's what I do, so. Thank y'all so much for watching again. I really appreciate it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this realistic sort of get ready with me because I was trying to just leave the house. I was trying to do something, but I need to get back home because I still have more work to do. I have a deadline to meet, so. I will see y'all in maybe I'll see y'all in the next vlog okay because wait the next video which will be the vlog which will be up on Tuesday so I love you all thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye we be acting like we like the sunlight but baby I can't see <laughs>